This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the gas laws. In this video, I'll be looking at the following gas laws. The first gas law is the relationship between pressure and volume at constant temperature, which is also known as Boyle's law. Next is the relationship between volume and temperature at constant pressure, which is also known as Charles's law. We'll also look at the relationship between pressure and temperature at constant volume, which is also known as Gay-Lussac's law. After that, we look at the relationship between volume and amount in moles at constant temperature and pressure, which is also known as Avogadro's law. And finally, we look at the combined gas law. We'll start by looking at the relationship between pressure and volume at constant temperature, which is also known as Boyle's law. This states that the volume occupied by a gas is inversely proportional to its pressure. In equation form, Boyle's law can be represented in three different ways. The first is the pressure multiplied by the volume is equal to a constant K. The second is that pressure is directly proportional to 1 over volume. And the third way is P1 multiplied by V1 equals P2 multiplied by V2. Graphically, Boyle's law can be represented in two different ways. On the left, we have a graph of pressure against volume. From the graph, we can see that as the pressure decreases, the volume increases. On the right, we have a graph of pressure against 1 over volume. The straight line produced shows that pressure is directly proportional to 1 over volume. Next, we have the relationship between volume and temperature at constant pressure, which is also known as Charles's law. This states that the volume occupied by a gas is directly proportional to its absolute temperature in Kelvin. In equation form, this can be represented as V is directly proportional to T. It can also be represented as V over T equals a constant K. On the right, we have a graph of volume against absolute temperature in Kelvin. From the graph, we can see that volume is directly proportional to temperature in Kelvin. Charles's law can also be represented as V1 over T1 is equal to V2 over T2. The next gas law that we look at is the relationship between pressure and temperature at constant volume, which is also known as Gay-Lussac's law. This states that the pressure exerted by a gas is directly proportional to its absolute temperature in Kelvin. This can be represented as P is directly proportional to T, or P over T is equal to a constant K. On the right, we have a graph of pressure against absolute temperature in Kelvin. From the graph, we can see that pressure is directly proportional to temperature in Kelvin. Gay-Lussac's law can also be represented as P1 over T1 is equal to P2 over T2. The next gas law that we look at is the relationship between volume and amount in moles at constant pressure and temperature, which is also known as Avogadro's law. This states that the volume occupied by a gas is directly proportional to the amount in moles of gas. So in equation form, this can be written as V is directly proportional to N, or V over N is equal to a constant K. On the right, we have a graph of volume against amount in moles of a gas. From the graph, we can see that volume is directly proportional to amount in moles. Another way of representing Avogadro's law is V1 over N1 is equal to V2 over N2. The final gas law that we look at is the combined gas law, which combines Boyle's law, Charles's law, and Gay-Lussac's law. So the combined gas law is P1 multiplied by V1 divided by T1 is equal to P2 multiplied by V2 divided by T2. The combined gas law can also be represented as P1 multiplied by V1 divided by T1 is equal to a constant K. So that's all from this video. In the next video, I'll be going through examples of all the gas laws.